Hello, my name is Dr. Leonard Liang, and I'm a practicing urologist and transplant surgeon. I'd like to tell you about a new treatment for advanced prostate cancer called Provenge. It's also known by its scientific name, Cepulicel T. What Provenge does is that it uses the immune system of a patient and it trains it to fight prostate cancer. In this video, I'd like to talk about the background of prostate cancer, why Cepula Cell T works, and um, show how it can be effective in some patients with advanced prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is the most common cancer of men in the United States if you don't count skin cancers. In 2010, there were about 217,000 new cases. It's the second leading cause of death from cancer in the, in the United States. In 2010, 32,000 men died from prostate cancer. In uh, this slide, um, I'm showing uh, a slide of normal prostate and on the bottom I'm showing some uh, slide of prostate cancer. In this slide I'm showing um, where prostate cancer can spread once it becomes advanced and escapes outside of the prostate gland. The two most common places where it goes to first are the bones and the lymph nodes. Now, we have very good treatments for prostate cancer that is localized or remains in the prostate gland. However, about 20 or 30 percent of the time, a man is not cured of prostate cancer. When that happens, the first treatment is hormonal treatment, which takes away a man's testosterone. This treatment is effective, but it doesn't cure someone of prostate cancer. And eventually, the prostate cancer comes back after uh, being on hormonal treatment. When advanced prostate cancer can no longer be controlled by hormonal treatment, it's called castrate-resistant prostate cancer. Also, it's known as hormone refractory prostate cancer. Now, before April of 2010, the only approved treatment for metastatic castrate-resistant prostate cancer was docetaxel, or Taxotir uh, is its trade name. Taxotir was the only treatment that showed an overall survival advantage. However, this survival advantage comes at a price, and that price is toxicity. Taken from the New England Journal of Medicine article that, was, that described the pivotal trial of Taxotir, over 50% of men had severe fatigue or tiredness. About a third had very low white blood cell counts. 65% had hair loss. 42% had significant nausea, vomiting. And actually, 0.3% or 3 out of 1,000 men had treatment-related death or mortality. So now I'd like to talk about Provenge. What Provenge is, is uh, immune therapy or an active immune therapy for prostate cancer. It's actively engaging your immune system, your own immune system, to fight prostate cancer. And this is a, a new and a breakthrough treatment that really hasn't been available for any other kind of cancer, not even, not just prostate cancer, but any other kind of cancer until very recently. Now the concepts behind 
immune therapy are important to understand. Cancer cells, when they become really advanced, often have the ability to hide from or evade or escape detection by the immune system. What active immunotherapy tries to do is train the immune system to recognize these cells that were hiding and to engage, target, and attack these cancer cells. There are three main steps in the treatment of Provenge. Number one, the collection of a patient's own white blood cells called leukapheresis. Number two um, is the manufacturing part, which is done in a laboratory, training these white blood cells to recognize prostate cancer cells. And the third part is the infusion or the delivery of Provenge done in a doctor's office. The precise mechanism of action of Provenge is not exactly known yet, but what is known is that Provenge does does stimulate a, an immune response to prostatic acid phosphatase. In this slide is a cartoon illustrating what is thought to be the mechanism of action. The first uh, picture is of a white blood cell. It takes up the antigen. The antigen is processed and presented on the outside and activated. At this point, the cell is called Provenge, or the cell is, is the active ingredient of Provenge. Finally, the third step of Provenge is done and the cells are infused back into the patient. Now these activated cells train T cells or killer cells to recognize prostate cancer and that's the last picture in this slide showing activated T cells attacking cancer cells. In 2010 uh, the pivotal data was published in the New England Journal of Medicine and the lead, the lead author was uh, Philip Kantoff. This study um, took 512 patients and randomized them ra and randomized them into two groups. One group of about 340 patients got uh, Provenge and the other group, 171, um, had leukapheresis and reinfusion of, of something that was not Provenge and that was the placebo group. Overall survival was the primary endpoint that was uh, studied. In this slide um, I'm showing the most important uh, data and it shows how the survival curves called uh, Kaplan-Meier curves uh, separate out between the Provenge or Cipula cell T group which is in uh, the green line and the placebo group which is the red line. The most important data are that the median survival of the Provenge group was about 26 months, 25.8 months. And the median survival of the placebo group was only 21.7 months. This is about a four month advantage. Also, the three year survival rate for the Provenge group was 32% and the three-year survival rate for the placebo group was 23%. Another way to look at the data is that your three-year survival rate is going to be a lot better. 32% compared to 23% chance of living for three more years is about 40% better chance. A survival advantage, a median survival advantage of four months is often misunderstood. What median survival is, is only, what that only means is that half of the patients in the study 
survived after 26 months for the ProVenge group and half did not. It doesn't mean anything about how long the patients who survived longer than 26 months survived. So actually what the treatment effect could be for a single particular patient could be much longer than four months. One of the best things about Provenge is that it has very low side effects. In fact, you can think of it as catching the flu in terms of having a side effect. The most common side effects are chills, fever, headache, muscle ache, and um, uh, high blood pressure. And these actually go away in a few days and uh, have no lasting uh, consequences. So in general, Provenge is much um, better tolerated than in comparison chemotherapy. This is a patient currently undergoing Provenge treatment. Um, he is a 84 year old man who was found to have prostate cancer and was found to have spread to his bones. He um, had hormone treatment, but his PSA uh, started to rise even though he was on hormone treatment. We started Provenge on him uh, four weeks ago and he has really tolerated the treatment pretty well. He had some mild side effects after his second treatment, but we're giving him his uh, third treatment now and it uh, seems to be going really well and he's basically a perfect candidate for Provenge because he's relatively healthy and strong, um, doesn't really have any other illnesses, and um, his PSA is relatively low um, still, so um, we're giving Provenge to him really as early as it is indicated at this time. Thank you very much. Uh, this concludes my presentation on Provenge or Sepulis LT. If you have any questions, please contact me through my website, leonardliangmd.com, or uh, through email, leonardliangmd at gmail.com. Thanks a lot.